The more I look, I said, we want to promote math literacy across Navajo Nation because I care for my Navajo people. I want them to do better in life than me. I want them to go higher than me. If I go straight against the wall, it goes straight ahead. Yeah? If I come in diagonally, let's see what happens. If I go diagonally against the wall, it is good. So that's what we're gonna play. Good, but we're gonna do it with pencil and paper because we are mathematicians. We don't, don't work with three are boards. Good. Let's everybody start in the bottom left corner on your paper. First like my idea. Yeah, I'm doing four by five. See what happens. Four by five. <laughs> My circle is a safe place for, for kids to enjoy uh, and discover beautiful mathematics. Math circles are a way to involve professional mathematicians with students at, and teachers at all grade levels. Uh, so it's an opportunity for mathematicians to reach out and get involved and share their enthusiasm for mathematics. Just exposing the students to what it means to think mathematically. We um, added 20 plus 12, which is the faces plus the vertices, because when you do, when you cut off, when, how you make it is you cut off the um, vertices of the icosahedron, and then that's 1,440. It's always been, you know, math is, math is hard. You know, my parents never, they never understood it. You know, it's always been um, downgraded. It's always been in a negative light all these years. But with the Navajo Nation Math Circles, what it does is it brings new light onto the subject of math. And it's not all about, you know, test taking. And it's not all about um, really hard things that the students have to do. It's something that kind of gets their interest and it kind of sparks that curiosity within them to kind of learn something new about math. See, like, this piece is the same as this piece, one hole, one hole, and half, and two. We figured this one out. I, I know a couple of the students. Um, one of them was a math camp um, student. She was kind of sitting there talking with one of the other students, like, wait, there's got to be a different way to do this. I know we drew some pictures. Let's let's really look at what we're doing, work with the numbers. So that's the kind of reasoning where they can see the concrete um, examples of what they're doing and then they take that into an abstract level. We really believe that in the math circle uh, a problem should be something that might lead very deep into mathematics and quite often the problems that our kids are working on eventually lead to open questions in mathematics. We have open-ended questions. Open-ended questions are totally new to most of the kids. Usually you have to have an answer within 20 seconds, 30 seconds. That's what math is. The answers actually don't matter. The more and more questions, we're opening whole research programs. And that is something totally new to the kids. And once they like it, it's just amazing. It's transformative. It was an enrichment for your mind. Think of something more above the ordinary. <laughs> the Ba Hojo of the Navajo math circles, the Hojo refers to beauty and harmony together. As far as we know, we're the only math circle that combines Navajo culture with our mathematics activity, and we're trying to strike exactly that balance, that beauty, and that harmony. And so I've seen this interweaving of not only the math portion, but the math portion directly coming and stemming from who we are as Navajo people. We want to engage our learners, and in order for us to do that, we have to have things that they can play with, things that they can move with their hands, because they're more kinesthetic learners. As Navajos, we have already have that connection with mathematics in our culture, because our grandmothers were weavers, they weaved and they construct geometric shapes on the rugs. And it seemed the pottery that they made, the Navajo basket that they wove, there was always a geometric shape. And so I carefully looked at each one separately. And since I divided each to four, I also divided 17, 72 by four, which is 18. The numbers and the way you can find patterns out of it, it's, just, it's cool. <laughs> You just find new things about it. Without our project, we would not have known that they are talented, that they are geniuses, that they can change the world because of their, of, of their remarkable abilities. And we want to find these kids and help these kids. I 
I've usually thought I was dumb, that I wasn't really smart. But then I actually got to know myself and I realized that I am smart. I can do it if I put my mind to it and I believe that for everyone. If you have a goal in mind and you really want it, you can do it. You just have to believe in yourself and you just have to push.